Hello everybody and welcome back to Viking Inspiration and today we're doing something a little bit different. Um, I have, I, since I'm so busy editing one of my previous videos, I decided to take up a request from one of the people who are subscribed to the channel and are part of the Discord, and that is a tutorial. Haven't done one since I did my Fallout 4 tutorial on how to get into the New Vegas stuff for, well, the Project Mojave mod for Fallout 4. Um, which a lot of you all seem to enjoy, so we're going to be making a tutorial for Arma 3, specifically on how to host your own game without buying a server, just hosting it off your own hardware, your own computer, and through your internet. So, let's get started. So, what you want to do is you want to go to Steam, launch Arma, and go into Arma itself. Granted, you gotta have to launch the full game. So here we have the host server section on the server browser, and Arma. And this is inside Arma 3 itself. As you see here, if you set it to internet for the host, and then you see this port that says 2302, it should say 2305 at the end. Now, if you do this and you try to host a server with a password and everything, it's not going to pop up for anybody. Now, if you have a router that has uh, UPnP, which stands for Universal Plug and Play, and then you don't have to worry about this. You can click off the video now if you have this. If you don't, and you want to get this to work so you can play with your friends or host small ops for whoever you're doing stuff with, then stick around because I'm going to explain to you what you need to do exactly. So... What you want to do, you leave once you've left Arma, you go back to your desktop, go to your magical browser known as Gumgle, and in Google, you want to you want to find if you you want to find your IP or if you have like I do because my Wi-Fi provider is AT and T because I'm a shitter and I wish to die. Um, what you want to do is you want to put you want to either click on the status thing or type in your IP, whatever it is. And that will take you to the magical screen, which I need to blur that out at the top. Hopefully I remember to do that. Future me, remember. So once you have that done, you want to go to... Oh shit, firewall. And you want to go to nat slash gaming, or this is what mine has. Your Wi-Fi provider, depending on who you have, is going to allow you to do the magical thing. The big magical oo known as uh, port forwarding and port and saying port forwarding typically scares the shit out of people port forwarding is not anything to be worried about you want to go into nat slash game you want to go into your port forwarding or nat slash gaming and do this magical big thing so once you get into the thing once you've logged in to your router and everything you've done your magical thing you want to go in to custom service and make your own stuff and then once you've done that you want to go down here, it's TCP slash UDP, that's what you, that's the protocol you want. You can put the service names whatever you want, and then the global port range is 2302 to 2306. And then the base port is going to be the first one that you start off with, it's going to run that armor shows you. And once you've done that, you add it, you put it in, you do that good stuff, and then once you've done that, it should work. If it doesn't work, then fiddle around with it. It's gonna. The reason it's two three zero now. The reason it's two three zero six and not two three zero five, like I have set up in Arma, is because two three zero six is the battle line. Yeah, the battle line thing. I just had to make sure that was the one they use. It's the anti cheat system for Arma three, and if you run anti cheat to make sure people don't do weird stuff, then that's gonna need to be there. So 2302 to 2306. I'm going to have in the description of this video exactly what you need to do, what the port, what the protocol is, what the ports are and everything, in case you're sped and you don't understand. But once you've done that, you'll be able to launch a server for your friends, and you can play whatever magical op you've designed. I hope that was helpful for everybody, and I will see you in the video that's taking me 10,000 years to edit, because I'm a smooth brain.